Hello, and welcome to a Centipede Press unboxing uh, that I am very excited about. It's a novel I've heard a lot about, The Club Dumas, by Arturo Perez Reverte. I have not read the title. Uh, oh, nothing on the back of the shipping labels. I always got to check that out because Jared likes to reuse materials, so sometimes you get some interesting materials that were printed on the back of the shipping labels. So, this one took a while to ship, but uh, well worth the wait. He's been shipping this guy for weeks, and I finally got my copy, number 68. Uh, so, I know a lot of people were disappointed. The price was higher than they were expecting, uh, but uh, the cost of these publications have gone up, just in general. But I will say that the quality... Of Centipede Press is superb. Just absolutely superb. Uh, just the slipcase itself speaks for itself. We even had somebody on Facebook asking, they were like, hey, so uh, they were comparing this to, oh, what was the, the book? Oh, there was the uh, Never Ending Story, the Folio Society edition. And they were like, yeah, the, uh, so the Folio Society edition had signed and unsigned copies. Inlaid thing on the spine there. Nice. And they were saying, hey, so the uh, the unsigned copies for The NeverEnding Story were like 100 pounds cheaper than the signed copies, but the unsigned copies for Club Dumas were only like a few, like 20 bucks cheaper. And the reason for that is that you can actually, eat unsigned copies are superb. Wow! Look at under this dust jacket. Okay, speaking of dust jacket, it's really cool uh, that there is a Mylar protection on the dust jacket here. However, Jared talked about there's there's a reverse illustration on the dust jacket and you, I can't see it cuz the the backing on the uh, the dust jacket protector. So we're going to take this off. Whoa! That looks cool as hell. It's like comic book style. Jared, like I love that you're you're protecting it for us, but you're also hiding a feature. We can't see that feature. Yeah. So, I love that he did it for us, but we're going to put that on the side before I fight with it on camera. Uh, bound in black Japanese silk. Look at that cover. Wow. Now, I have not read the Club Dumas. It's a beautiful, like, it's almost got like an antique look to it. Beautiful, uh... Almost leather, leather at label on the spine. Top edge stain, of course. Uh, but this features, uh, as he calls it online, the Sam Spade of book collecting. So it's antiquarian book collector. Oh, wow. Like the, I don't know if that's just the printing coming through or if that's the actual texture on the paper. But it's a very nice texture to the page. Uh, Francis piece here by Doug Bell, who did the uh, revert. Wait, wait, no. This I think is Ricardo Martinez. I think Doug Bell did the reverse. And what is going on here? Are we doing some uh, Roman numeral Sudoku? Very interesting. Uh, so this was first published thirty years ago. It's like the thirtieth anniversary edition. Uh, interior illustrations and reverse dust jacket by Doug Bell. Interior illustration cover and frontispiece by Ricardo Martinez. This is Mar Martinez's frontispiece, and the interior illustrations are by Doug Bell. Wow, this is this is one of the nicest publications. He's, I mean, and that's saying something because Jared does some beautiful publications. Uh, the pages, I believe, are purposefully yellowed on the corners. That's not a, a printing defect. This is just, this is nice. That's why it's expensive. Well worth it, though. Holy crap. Yeah, there's like a texture. It's not the same texture to uh, the actual pages themselves here than it was. Oh, I guess it is. I'll say it's very nice quality paper. Yeah, Jerry goes above and beyond. Uh, so as I was saying, it's about an antiqu uh, antique... A book collector, or book detective, I guess. He, you know, if there's a, a title you're looking for, or you know, something that you get to the bottom of, he will track it down. 
and he is called in to uh, verify a uh, Alexander Dumas, the, the, uh, the authenticity of an Alexander Dumas title. Uh, so, hence the Club Dumas, I presume. And uh, he eventually finds himself, wow, we got like some old kind of like engravings in here too. And he finds himself going down the rabbit hole of like death, like cult worshiping, intri intrigue, and all sorts of, oh god, this is dark. Uh, so he goes down one hell of a rabbit hole, from what I'm told. Uh, a lot of these illustrations appear to be old men reading books, which I am an old man reading books, so I, 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 can, I can agree with that. Wow. I don't know if these... Are is these the same ones? Are these slightly altered? Must be part of the book. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if there's like some secret puzzle behind the book itself because we had the uh, the num numerals here in the front. Very interesting. If I sound like I don't know what I'm talking about, I haven't read the book. So, Irene Adler. Like so we have like Doyle care Irene Adler's the Sherlock Holmes character, right? So you have some Arthur Conan Doyle references, some Alexander Dumas references. Fantastic. Uh, so anyways, going back to the folio thing that I chimed in with on Facebook. Uh, so the difference, the key difference between folio and centipede, especially when you're comparing uh, signed and unsigned copies like this, is that uh, folio society takes like a hundred dollar book so never ending story it's i think it's more than a hundred in u.s dollars i think it was a hundred pounds so it's gonna be more um but let's just say it's a hundred dollar book they take a hundred dollar book and the book is worth a hundred dollars the quality is a hundred dollars you know if you were just taking two unsigned copies that's gonna be a hundred dollars uh and by adding the signature it was a little bit of kind of scraping or is that glue to the boards there. Excuse the white hair that's showing up there. You see that right there? Is that glue or scraping? I don't know. I'll mess with that in a minute. Uh, so anyways, Folio takes a $100 book and they add a signature to it and then they call it a $250 book. You know, the only thing that's different between that $100 book and the $150 book is that limitation page or the signature page. Uh, Centipede Press their their signed edition is only like thirty bucks more, twenty thirty dollars more, because their unsigned edition is still an absolutely stunning publication of quality. This is just gorgeous. Uh, so you're really getting the two hundred and eighty dollar book, and then the signature page, the limitations, like a thirty dollar premium. Uh, so here's the signature page, a little scuff on that too. I don't know if that's a printing error or a paper error. I'm fine with it though. 500 copies for sale. This is number 68. Signed by Arturo Perez Reverte, Ricardo Martinez, and Doug Bell. Uh, there are, believe it or not, still unsigned copies available, which is kind of surprising to begin with because uh, there are 500 signed copies, and I think there were only like 80 or 60 or 80 unsigned copies. So it's a very small uh, publication size for the unsigned copies, the overrun copies. So you should definitely go and buy one if you want a nice freaking book. Seriously. I even like the, the black cloth of the book kind of clashing, but in a good way, with the cloth of the slipcase. That is stunning. But uh, seriously, check out Centipede Press. Jared is just absolutely kicking ass. This is... This, it reminds me of uh, Nova and Babel 17, the, uh, the uh, Delaney titles that he did, where, uh, you know, he does a lot of, he do, every publication that Jared does at Centipede Press is a quality publication, uh, but he's got, like, different tiers to his quality publications. Uh, he has books that are usually around, like, 50 or 60 bucks, 
Uh, they're going to be smaller, not not small trim sizes, but smaller than this. This is a little bit oversized compared to those ones. Um, like his crime books. I've published, I've done unboxings of those on this channel. Uh, then he does these ones, uh, which I don't want to say are the middle novels because this is still going to run you about 300 bucks. But it's it's middle compared to the three tiers, which is a superb fine press publication uh, in its own right. Uh, and then he has the upper tier ones, which are like his, I don't want to say his deluxe editions because that's its own tier by itself. Uh, his very high end ones, which are the very large books, uh, like his Dune series that he's doing, which I've unboxed both uh, Dune and Dune Messiah on my channel as well. Those are massive oversized titles uh, that are going to run hundreds of dollars, but those are gorgeous quality. Uh, and of course, he does have like his version of lettered editions, which are uh, his deluxe editions, which are over a thousand dollars, way out of my price range, but uh, even nicer. But seriously, check out Centipede Press because this, this is gorgeous. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I've got a ton of these unboxings on the channel, so please consider liking and subscribing, and we'll see you around next time.